Around 80 years ago, on a sunlit day, a squadron of five Navy planes departed from their Florida base for what should have been a routine training exercise known as Flight 19. Unfortunately, neither the aircraft nor the crew were ever spotted again. This marked the birth of a legendary mystery, the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle encompasses a region approximately defined by the points of Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. While no official records exist, over the past century numerous ships and aircraft have seemingly disappeared without a trace within the confines of this mysterious triangle. However, a recent claim by a scientist suggests that he may have unraveled the long-standing enigma of the Bermuda Triangle. What exactly is this revelation? Let's delve into the details. Encompassing an expanse of 440 40,000 square miles of ocean, the Bermuda Triangle occupies a significant stretch of a bustling maritime route. Frequented by numerous ships navigating between America, Europe, and the Caribbean daily, it's the perplexing and unexplainable outcomes associated with this region that have turned it into a subject of intense study while maintaining an air of mystery. Tales surrounding the Bermuda Triangle trace back to the era of Christopher Columbus, who purportedly witnessed a fireball plunging into the sea within the Triangle during his first voyage to the New World. Nevertheless, the peculiar occurrences within this area only gained widespread attention in the 20th century, as ships, planes, and people started vanishing within its bounds. The most recent event dating to 2021 involved the disappearance of a small twin-engine plane among the various scientific theories proposed to explain these perplexing events. One of the more popular ones involves electromagnetic interference that disrupts compasses. This theory posits the existence of an unusually potent natural magnetic force in the region that interferes with compasses and other sophisticated equipment, diverting them from their intended courses on the water. However, given a lack of a single conclusive explanation, many still maintain that most incidents were inaccurately reported or exaggerated accounts of accidents. Despite the absence of a proven theory to elucidate the Bermuda Triangle's enigma, Incidents continue to occur within its boundaries year after year. Moreover, this region is home to the Milwaukee Deep, the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean, which descends to depths nearly equivalent to one and a half Mount Kilimanjaro's. Given the extreme depths, it's not surprising that many of the ships and aircraft that have gone missing in this area have yet to be located. Even when researchers have managed to discover these lost vessels, what they've encountered defies logical explanation. Consider the case of the American ship Rubicon in 1944, founded by the U.S. Navy near Florida, within the Bermuda Triangle. A month prior, all contact with the ship had been lost as it sailed from Cuba to Havana, leading everyone to believe it had sunk. Concerned relatives of the passengers were left puzzled about their loved one's fates. However, upon discovery, the military was astounded to find the ship completely intact and seemingly unscathed. Yet, despite the ship's capacity for over 300 passengers, the only presence on board was a dog that had seemingly appeared out of nowhere. Not a single human soul could be found, and all the passengers' belongings and food supplies remained untouched, as if they had abruptly vanished from the vessel in an instant. This bewildering scenario is not unique. A similar situation occurred within the ship of Rosalia in 1840, as it voyaged from Hamburg to Havana. It was located in the Sargasso Sea near the Bermuda Triangle, appearing as if time had stood still. Launch preparations awaited the sailors in the ship's kitchen, yet not a soul occupied the vessel. Only a famished canary chirped within its cage. A nearly identical tale unfolded on the American ship of Mary Celeste in 1872 as it journeyed from New York to Italy via the Bermuda Triangle. It was discovered a year later near the Azores, with untouched treasures found in the captain's cabin, and even a surviving cat on board. However, the crew itself appeared to have vanished without a trace. What compounds the danger of this region is that it's not confined solely to the sea. It extends its enigmatic grasp into the sky. A poignant example is the perplexing case of Flight 19 in 1945, a squadron comprising of five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers that inexplicably vanished during a routine training exercise. The theory of simultaneous and inexplicable failures of all five aircraft appears implausible, especially considering they had undergone rigorous pre-flight examination. Nations. Another puzzling incident involved the Beechcraft Bonanza plane on December 4, 1970. The aircraft took off from Andros Island in the Bahamas with a pilot and two passengers en route to Florida's coastline covering a distance of 400 kilometers, typically requiring 90 minutes of flight time at an altitude of 3,500 meters. The pilot noticed a peculiar cylindrical-shaped cloud formation. This colossal cloud had a diameter exceeding one kilometer, seemingly extending indefinitely. 
Faced with this colossal obstruction, the pilot had no choice but to navigate the plane through the cloud. As the aircraft entered it, darkness enveloped them, akin to nightfall. Suddenly, luminous white flashes began to illuminate their surroundings. However, these were not typical lightning strikes. As the pilot observed, with a sense of impending doom, he bid farewell to life. Yet approximately a minute later, he glimpsed a glimmer of hope at the tunnel's end. The cloud tunnel began to constrict, coinciding with the malfunction of all their electronic equipment. The compass needle in particular exhibited erratic and aimless gyrations. At a certain juncture, an eerie sensation of weightlessness gripped the pilot, and the plane finally emerged from the cloud. Astonishingly, they discovered they were nearly in Miami, although only 47 minutes had elapsed since takeoff. Remarkably, the plane had consumed significantly less fuel than usual. To this day, no one aboard that plane can fathom how they seemingly defied the bounds of time and space to arrive at their destination ahead of schedule. Despite various theories proposed by scientists in an attempt to shed light on the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle, each researcher seems to hold their unique perspective. One theory says that the Bermuda Triangle's treacherous reputation for shipwrecks is due to the abundance of shoals and reefs. However, this theory was more relevant during the era of wooden ships crossing the ocean. For contemporary vessels equipped with advanced technology, such obstacles are typically manageable. Another line of inquiry centers around the masses of bubbles observed in the waters of the Bermuda Triangle, emanating from cracks and tectonic plates. Some researchers attribute these bubbles to explosive methane gas, which transforms into colossal bubbles. Upon reaching the surface, these bubbles allegedly have the potential to destroy or engulf an entire ship. Yet, this theory does not account for the fact that certain ships that vanished in the Bermuda Triangle were subsequently located completely intact. There exists, however, a theory advanced by geologists that seeks to clarify these phenomena. It suggests that during intense storms, waves generate infrasound which can have harmful effects on human nervous system. Consequently, panic may overtake a ship's crew, causing individuals to irrationally abandon the vessel. This perspective potentially explains why numerous ships have been found within the Bermuda Triangle devoid of passengers, yet with their belongings left undisturbed. Nevertheless, these theories do not provide a comprehensive account of the occurrences involving airplanes in the area. A meteorologist named Steve Miller had presented a reasonably plausible theory. He identified in NASA satellite imagery distinctive hexagonal clouds featuring straight edges above the Bermuda Triangle. Miller conjectures that these clouds can produce phenomena known as air bombs, powerful wind currents with speeds akin to hurricanes, reaching up to 300 kilometers per hour. Such forces could sink even sizable ships or prompt the rapid downfall of aircraft. However, this theory necessitates further examination, as the images do not visibly depict the presence of funnels within the clouds that would direct air downward as needed to uphold this explanation. But while some have sought to approach the Bermuda Triangle's mysteries through scientific scrutiny, conspiracy theorists have offered an alternative, albeit speculative, explanation. They believe that this region serves as a hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, with aliens purportedly abducting individuals for research purposes. Consequently, according to this theory, only animals on the ships found within the Bermuda Triangle survive, while valuable cargo remains untouched. However, Australian scientist Carl Kruzelinicki and the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association NOAA, reject the notion of the Bermuda Triangle as a supernatural enigma. Both have consistently maintained that the phenomenon of lost and vanished ships and planes in this area can be attributed to the probabilities associated with travel and navigation. NOAA in particular has emphasized that there is no empirical evidence indicating that mysterious disappearances occur with greater frequency in the Bermuda Triangle than in other heavily traveled oceanic regions. They assert that environmental factors can account for most of the Bermuda Triangle's disappearances, citing the Gulf Stream's propensity for rapid and turbulent weather changes, as well as the presence of numerous islands in the Caribbean Sea, which pose navigational complexities. Krizalinicki has echoed these sentiments since 2017, underscoring the importance of considering the sheer volume of maritime and aerial traffic in a challenging navigation zone. He contends that the percentage of incidents in the Bermuda Triangle is consistent with global averages. He further highlights that even high-profile disappearances such as Flight 19 can be attributed to a combination of adverse weather conditions and potential human errors. Nonetheless, the allure of Bermuda Triangle conspiracy theories persists in popular culture 
as notions of sea monsters and extraterrestrial involvement often captivate the imagination more than mundane explanations rooted in weather and mathematical probabilities. Ultimately, the question of truth in relation to the Bermuda Triangle remains a matter of personal belief and interpretation. What are your thoughts on this? Tell us in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.